Do you know that in every cell in your body is a genome that's 3.5 billion letters long? It's the longest word ever discovered. And of course, theists are saying, hey, that points back to intelligence. And some of the atheists are saying, oh no, that's a God of the gaps argument. It's not a God of the gaps argument. When you see a message, like say you're walking along the beach and you see in the sand, John loves Mary. You don't think the waves did that. You don't think uh, natural forces did that. The crabs came out of the water and made that message. You know, in all your prior experiences, that messages only come from minds. Well, the question is, where does the message in your genome come from? We know that messages always come from minds, and your message is 3.5 billion letters long. You can't evolve a message. I mean, you couldn't randomly evolve, say, a message in a book by changing the letters and come out with a coherent sentence or a coherent book. Messages come from minds. So it's not just that we lack a natural explanation for the genome. It's that the genome, a message, is positive, empirically verifiable evidence for an intelligent cause. So it's not a the God of the gaps argument. We're not arguing from a gap in our knowledge. We're not arguing from what we don't know. We're arguing from what we do know.